Greetings, greetings, greetings. Um, I hope that this uh, finds you well. And I'm doing the car cam, as you can see. Don't do those often. I don't do them often. Um, but I decided to go ahead and do it because this is what... Um, this is Friday, and I noticed that everybody, every place I've gone, people keep saying, happy Good Friday, happy Good Friday. So it hit me to, that today is their Good Friday. So I thought I would take a moment to address it. All right? Uh, if you can hear me okay, Give me a thumbs up in the chat room before I get started. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me okay. Yeah, give, give me a thumbs up if you can. All right, all right. So, I, uh, so I thought I would do this card live mainly because it seems like every place I've gone, there's a, everybody saying happy Good Friday, happy Good Friday. So the question is, um, you know, I, I don't know where people are getting this stuff at, that today is Good Friday, or what's good about it, or what what's anything. Let's, so I want to deal with it. I want to deal with it. And uh, as I'm, I'm in Orlando, by the way. I'm supposed to be teaching up here. And um, so I thought that uh, it, it would be good to get out a little bit. It's nice. It's sunny. Uh, the weather is about 76 degrees. It's really, really, really nice. And I said, let me get out and just see. Um, what's happening? Oh, it's not bad glare, bad glare. Let me see if I can do something with this glare to keep you guys out of it. That's about the best I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, I hope that you all have looked at the series. I think there was three parts of the series, and I'm going to try to um, address this in a very... Uh, short time, probably about 15 or 20 minutes. And, and I think it's important. Shout out to Brother David, Queen, uh, Abiding, Branch, all of you. Uh, I can't see everybody, but hello. Okay. So here's what's happening. Why do they think today's Good Friday? Because in the Gospels, I think it's over in the Gospel of John, and it, 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 it talked about how Jesus on Passover had get, given up the ghost, which was about nine o'clock. And the scripture goes on to say, and the Sabbath drew on. Good Friday is an honest, mistake nevertheless people roll with it and why is it an honest mistake because when they say that the Sabbath drew on they thinking that Jesus was on the cross today today and the Sabbath drew on, in their minds, the Sabbath being the seventh day of the week, that would be tomorrow. And I thought it would be a good time to just use this exact time that we're doing this to bring some understanding. So let's take a look at it. If Jesus was killed today on the sixth day of the week. 
because the scripture says, and the Sabbath drew on. Let's take a look at it. Now, the sun is still up in Orlando, but we know that when the sun goes down, it's Sabbath. We know that Jesus died at about the ninth hour of the day. And being that he died at the ninth hour of the day, which is three o'clock in the afternoon, three o'clock in the afternoon, he'll be put placed in the grave right now. Joseph of Arimathea is begging for the body. He's gonna take it, gonna wrap it in linen, in nobody's uh, ever laid and he's going to put Jesus in the in a tomb uh, um, and place him there now let's say that's the, that's the case today if that was the case if that was the case brothers and sisters today 72 hours from this time point Right now, 72 hours, tomorrow, this time of the day, would only be 24 hours. Sunday time of the day would only be eight hours. Monday, this time of the day, would be three days and three nights. But we know something's wrong with that, right? Everybody, everybody that that's been watching this series, you know something's wrong with that because we know that he did not resurrect from the dead 72 hours from right now, which would be Monday. We know that because the time reference that we're gonna use, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to the tomb on the first day of the week while it was yet dark. And they said, he's already gone. Already gone, risen. Come look at the place where he laid. He is not here. I love when the scriptures is so dramatic um, in the way it's written. Uh, come look, he's not here. Come look, he's not here. Remember how he told you that in three days he would rise again on the third day? So he's not here. He's gone. Uh, that type of description cannot be ignored. You find that in Matthew, the 28th chapter, verse 6. Mark, the 16th chapter, verse 6. Luke, the 24th chapter, verse 6, and they all say, he is not here. Come look. So, what's so interesting is this. Good Friday, Good Friday. The whole Christianum, Roman Christian churches are recognizing this as the day that he was crucified. But yet Daniel, the ninth chapter, tells, you, tells us he was, he's going to be cut off in the midst of the week. So it's just amazing. You can't get three days and three nights. Um, and, and it's not going to happen. Uh, the whole seminary school that gives people doctorate degrees ought to be ashamed of, the, of themselves. You know, you know how you take somebody and you sue them civilly for scamming you? The, those that are teaching and learning theology it's a scam if you can't figure out that 
Good Friday is not the day, simply by just calculating. Honest mistake, I would have to, I would have to admit, if one was to just read the scriptures and it says that day was the preparation and the Sabbath drew on, today is the preparation. And when the sun goes down, the Sabbath will be drawing on the seventh day weekly Sabbath. It's very true. The scriptures is true. So therefore, uh, if you don't know about Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread and the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread being a Sabbath, if you don't know that, it can be an honest mistake. But when you are going to seminary school, getting a doctrine of divinity, theology, somebody ought to sit in the room and calculate and put this thing together. It should be that simple. Somebody should be raising their hand and say, well, wait a minute. Um, I got a question. Matthew 12 and 40 says that as Jonah was in the belly of the well for three days and three nights, so shall the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth three days and three nights. Something's not calculating. Can we take a moment to calculate it and maybe let's come up with some sort of explanation? I mean, really, if you are attending a seminary school, that is what should be stated. I mean, it's just that simple. Because you can't get three days and three nights between Friday at this time. Placing them in the heart of the earth at this time. And three days and three nights later, miscalculating to come up with Sunday morning. Something is wrong. Something's wrong. Come on, pastors. Some of you, come on, pastors. Come on, Christians. Come on. Come on, folks. Some are, some are, have doctorate of divinities. Uh, some of y'all have these high titles, prelades and Come on, come on. This is something that should be elementary biblical calculation 101. Then somebody might say, well, what difference does it make? Wow. What difference does it make? Here's why it makes a difference. Because... All of Western Christianity teach that the way, the reason why they attend their service on the first day of the week is because Jesus resurrected on the first day of the week. That's why it matters. That's why it matters. Because if that's not the case, then the question will be, why do you go on Sundays? Why do you go the first day of the week? And that's the question. Why? Why do, why do you go the first day of the week? Because we can show you Jesus did not resurrect on a Sunday. It's impossible. If you're going to call today Good Friday, Good Friday, it's impossible to get 72 hours between right now. And if you look outside in Orlando, the sun is still up. But I would say in about maybe an hour from now, it's down. It starts another day. In Bible time, when the sun goes down, it starts another day. Not 12 o'clock midnight like we do today. In Bible time, according to the scriptures, 
a day ends and begins at the going down of the sun. So when Joseph of Arimathea went to Pilate and begged for the body of Christ, after after nine after three o'clock in the afternoon, the ninth hour of the day, when he gave up the ghost, it was after that time and before the sun went down, he says, Pilate, can I have the body? Can I go give him a proper burial so we can wrap him in linen? That is our custom. Can I do that? And he gave him permission. And then the scripture says that the garden was not far from the place where Jesus was crucified. And in that garden, there was a sepulcher that was already hewn out. So they didn't have to go far. But from the time they put him there, I got to Harper on that. Because if today's Friday, and I'm looking outside, it's 731 in Orlando, and the sun is still up, it's on its way down, but it's still up. And the Sabbath is drawing on. And that's where your confusion came in at. You still cannot get three days and three nights between this point and Sunday morning. You're, you're at best, at best, at best, you're going to be at 30 plus hours. And that, brothers and sisters, will not fit the scriptures as to what Jesus said to those guys who were looking for a sign. He says, I give you but one sign from the prophet Jonas. As he was in the whale's belly three days and three nights, so shall the son of the man be in the heart of the earth. Three days and three nights. Jonas was in that whale's belly not a minute longer and not a minute shorter according to the scriptures. So um, we got to back it up. We got to back it up. We got to back it up from Good Friday. And we don't want to call it Good Wednesday. We just go simply call it Passover because he is the Passover. He is the Lamb. He is the Lamb of God. He was killed on the, the exact same day on Abib the 14th. The, the exact same day as you would to kill the Passover Lamb. That exact same day. And that date is the 14th day of the first month. And you know, like I know, a fixed date can fall on any given day of the week. It can go, it can fall on the first day of the week, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh. My birthday, which was this week, it fell on a Monday. But my fixed date was March the 25th. And it could have fell on a Tuesday. It could have fell on a Wednesday. Passover. Passover, which is the 14th day of the first month in the year that Jesus was killed fell on the middle of the week. Why the middle of the week? Because prophecy said that he would be cut off. He would cause the sacrificial system to cease in the middle of the week. That, brothers and sisters, happens to be the fourth day of the week, commonly called Wednesday, so if it was Wednesday about this time now, and you can kind of see how it looks out there, 
um, the sun is almost down, Joseph of Arimathea would be putting his body in that tomb. And this time, from the middle of the week to the fifth day of the week, from this time to the sixth day of the week, from this time to the seventh day of the week, would be three days and three nights, which means Jesus rose on the Sabbath. He rose on the Sabbath. So therefore, saying that one goes to church on the first day of the week, because he rose on the first day of the week, um, if that, if, if the day that you choose is predicated on when Jesus resurrected, go to an Israel of God, go to the Israel of God website and look for a class near you because Jesus rose on the Sabbath. If, if, if you're picking the day predicated on when Jesus resurrected, we showed you he resurrected on the seventh day of the week. Go to the Ears of God website and find you a, uh, uh, the, the nearest, the nearest IOG class near you. Don't even hesitate. So if you got a doctorate degree in divinity and that's your position, that you picked the day of the week that you would attend church based upon when Jesus resurrected, you need to go find an Israel of God class near you. That's about the best that we can put it, brothers and sisters, if it's based upon that. Because no way, no way. So then the question is, why would you be in church on Sunday celebrating bunny rabbits laying eggs? Want to know. Why are you going to be there celebrating the resurrection at sunrise service when he was already gone? I want to know. I'm curious. I just want to know. Shout out to Brother ASAP from IOG Atlanta class. He will be the teacher at Fort Lauderdale tomorrow. Uh, I will be at, yours truly will be here at the IOG Orlando class. Um, if you're anywhere in the Orlando area, come on by. Come on by and say hello. Class starts at 1 o'clock. We'll be at the Courtyard Marriott downtown Orlando. That's all you got to put in. Courtyard Marriott downtown Orlando. It's on Magnolia. At Magnolia. You can't miss it. All right? Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Peace, brothers and sisters. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you.